So your emails just can't seem to convert. You spent weeks or months sending out campaign after campaign with little to no result. Don't worry because I was in the exact same boat as you. Let's jump into the top five reasons why your emails aren't converting and why they're actually costing you engagement and revenue. All right, let's jump straight into it here. So first up, it's going to be your lack of personalization. Sending out generic one size fits all emails doesn't allow your customer to feel valued nor special in any way at all. Think about it. If you're selling pet products and you have customer A who often purchases for a dog and customer B who just purchases for their cat, when you start sending dog related emails to customer B or cat related products to customer A, you're just gonna lose their customer's attention and overall just drive down their interest in the brand. So if you wanna fix this, well, you need to start creating segmentations around your customer base. If you're selling women's and men's products, Group your customers by purchasing habits into different list segmentations so you can send them different emails related to exactly what they're after. When you do this, not only are you going to increase every metric possible to bring your brand more revenue, but you're also going to reduce the cost of having to run Klaviyo by lowering the amount of emails you have to actually send. All right, next tier on the list is something many brand owners struggle to get right. So by fixing it, you can probably wipe out your competition. Your customers need clear guidance on what to do next when opening your emails. Most people aren't going to read a full email like you're going to read it when you're reviewing it. They're simply just going to scan it for the value they can extract and only take that value. That's all they want. So when you have unclear or weak calls to action, you can leave them scratching their heads on what to actually do next. And we obviously can't have that. So when you're crafting your call to actions, be specific. Be persuasive. Instead of a generic click here, try something different like discover your savings now or claim your free trial. Make it impossible for your subscribers to resist to the amount of value that you're going to provide to them. Another tip on this is to make your buttons stand out. Stop including small and meek buttons that don't catch out the reader's attention. Instead, make it loud and make it stand out so as many people as possible can click through and buy your products. All right, let's talk about poor email design. Look, a cluttered and unappealing layout can turn off your subscribers faster than you can say delete. So your emails are actually a reflection of your brand in the customer's mind. So make sure it looks as good as it reads. Invest in clean, visually appealing designs that are easy to navigate. Remember, less is more when it comes to email design. And in order to drive results, you need to make it as simple as possible for the customer to click through to your site. Here's an example that is just too overwhelming and doesn't include any of the principles taught so far in this video. Designing emails like this is going to get low click-through rates, low conversions, and a subscriber list that has more subscribes than your store has sales. So let's fix it. This is what your emails should look like. Clear and cut designs that match the aesthetic of your brand. Direct call to actions accompanied by visuals that actually match what you're trying to sell rather than just including weak promotional images just for the sake of it. So moving on to frequency and timing of your emails. When you bombard your subscribers with emails, it's just going to risk email fatigue and disengagement. This is why you need to respect your subscribers time and inbox space. Instead of flooding them with daily emails, focus on quality over quantity. Use data-driven insights for your industry to determine the optimal frequency and timing for sending emails based on subscriber preferences. Typically for the brands I help, sending out one to two campaign emails per week is where we see the most conversions happen. So try this out and test what works for your brand. All right, last but not least, we have failing to track and analyze performance. If you're not measuring success, how do you even know what's working? Tracking your key metrics like open rates, Click-through rates and conversions is essential for understanding the effectiveness of your campaigns. Make sure you are actually using this data to make informed decisions and continuously improve your email marketing strategy. Because if you keep doing the same thing, nothing is going to change or improve. Make it a bi-weekly or monthly routine to check in with the results of your flows and campaigns to ensure that you can consistently continue to optimize and refine to get the most out of your emails as possible. Typically with the clients that I help, we like to do bi-weekly reports so that they can see direct PDF files and documentation of how their campaigns are running 
how their flows are converting, and the key metrics to understand what we can do to take the next step and improve it even further. And there you have it guys, it's really that simple. Now all you need to do is avoid these mistakes and you'll be right on your way to email marketing campaign success. If you had any questions or queries in regards to anything covered in this video, leave a comment and I'll most likely get back to it within 24 hours. Thanks for watching.